Good day, fellow learners. Once again, this is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapos, joining you for the learning and teaching session this time around for case number 24. Before we start, may I ask you to please join us in this mission. Our goal is to provide free NCLEX RN application review and review to 100 nurses. We are successful in the past two years, and this year we wanted to do that and extend the scholarships to 300 nurses. So we have increased the number from the zone visas in Mindanao, especially to our less fortunate brothers and sisters in the health care professions. So to help us achieve this, just watch and finish the ads in our videos. And if you share this video to at least 10 of your friends, then you can be assured that our team, the Ray A. Gapus Review System team, will pray for your success. And thank you for doing that. We also would like to thank our donors for the scholarship programs. And we have numerous donors and one anonymous donor even sent us 20,000 pesos to continue with what we are doing. So in fact, we have our promo. This is actually your chance to get a free review from us if you process your NPLEX RN application with ITAPS GAPUS. It is actually the official processing arm of the Ray GAPUS review system. And let's congratulate Gia Felina Bado, USRN from New York Board of Nursing, for New York Board of Nursing. And she passed her test last September 21, 2024. That's just a couple of days back. I want to extend my thanks and gratitude for the people behind ITAPS GAPOS. Thank you for aiding me in my journey in becoming a USRN. Thank you for answering my endless queries regarding my NCLEX application. And I'm grateful for your patience and understanding in times of my doubt and periods of anxiety. Thank you, ITAPS GAPO staff, for your fast and amazing service for helping people to achieve their American dream. Okay. And I'd like this public advisory to go first in our discussion for this session. Dr. Ray Gapus, that's me, and the mentors of the Ray Gapus system are not part of another center named Gapus Review Academy or Gapus Review. So if you don't see any one of us in your class, this is the Ray Gapus system Philippine team, then that's not a Ray Gapus system class. On to our case number 24. And this time around, we're gonna talk about pneumothorax. But before we do so, let me first congratulate this gentleman from Naga College Foundation. His name is Jerkin P. Devara, now USRN in the state of New York. Thank you, Sir Ray Gapus, and to the staff. I passed my NCLEX RN on August 28, 2024. The bootcamp helped me a lot in focusing since there were no distractions and the method of teaching done by Sir Ray himself was very effective through active learning and repetitive assessment. The book NCLEX RN NCLEX 311, which was provided during the review and which I have read from cover to cover is very informative and written in a very simple but comprehensible manner. I will give the review center a 10 over 10. Thank you. Thank you for the very kind words and congratulations, Mr. Jerkin P. Devara from Naga College Foundation. And on to our discussion of pneumothorax. Now, pneumothorax occurs when air collects in the plural space between the lungs and the chest wall. Now, may I draw your attention to the illustration from Wikimedia on our right side. So this is trying to differentiate the normal lung and what happens in pneumothorax when the plural space collects air. So that air now will compress the lungs, leading to shortness of breath and then absence of breath sounds. And definitely there's gonna be chest pain if this is secondary to trauma. So it is initially manifested by sudden sharp chest pain on one side of the chest and shortness of breath. So what are the common causes of pneumothorax? These include lung disease, injury to the chest, like for example, if the client had motor vehicular accident, for lung disease, COPD, like emphysema, when there's rupture of a bleb, that's an overdistended alveoli, Assisted ventilation or the use of mechanical ventilation could potentially lead to pneumothorax and ruptured air blisters. Remember, liar, lung disease, injury to the chest, assisted ventilation, and ruptured air blisters. Now, the management of pneumothorax include needle aspiration and chest tube insertion. May I draw your attention to please do kindly view pointers number 49 
on our YouTube channel, specifically on the topic thoracic catheter that contains an extensive discussion of the use of chest tubes in order to manage pneumothorax. Okay. Now, before we proceed, for those of you who would want to focus on uh, my book, NCLEX RN311, The Next Generation Quick Fix Edition, the pages that I'd want you to focus on are contained in this presentation. And here's a feedback from a user of the book. Thank you so much, Paul Sir Ray, and to all Ray A. Gavis Review System, staff specially, sa staff ng bootcamp sa Baguio, last July 15 onwards. Kahit one month lang po ang review ko, and I remember I just enrolled on July 15, 2024, mismo na sa bootcamp, and doon pa lang ako na as in nag-start mag-aral and maximize my time na dapat so one month leave ko is ready na ako kahit pa paano for my exam dahil working po ako as an ICU nurse and one month lang po ang leave ko. July 15, 2024, noon ko, doon ko pa lang nakuha din mga books upon enrollment and hindi po ako nag-attend ni isang comprehensive review. Only bootcamp, some topics on core shell and NCLEX 311. Yan lang po ang finocus ko dahil one, lang, one month lang ang leave ko. And as they say, the rest is history because she passed her test. And let's use what we've discussed to answer case number 24. So the nurse is assessing several clients from a car crash, which assessment finding in the client requires immediate intervention by the nurse. Now that is actually very, very important to know. Okay. So here we go. The first one that we have there is actually a question, an option on uh, the presence of bronchial sounds at the base of the neck. Bronchial sounds are normally found at the base of the neck. So you have bronchial sounds, then bronchovesicular, and at the base of the lungs and all throughout the lungs, you have your vesicular breath sounds. Now your vesicular breath sounds are normal breath sounds, and these are low pitch, okay? So the breath sounds are low pitch. It could be muffled. And they have been described as rustling sound, similar to a gentle breeze through the leaves of a tree. That's a description of vesicular breath sounds. And these are normal breath sounds. Now, what is abnormal is when you hear your bronchial sounds, not at the base of the neck, but at the base of the lung. So that could indicate pneumonia. But our discussion is not about pneumonia. It's about pneumothorax. So... Number one, presence of bronchial sounds at the base of the neck. This is normal. Two, unequal breath sounds in one side of the chest. We can consider this because as we've discussed, when there's compression of um, one side of the lungs, that could potentially lead to a diminished breath sounds. And then bronchovesicular breath sounds at the first and the second intercostal space, that's also normal. And then your soft, breezy, low-pitched breath sounds. These are your vesicular breath sounds that are found throughout the lungs. So definitely the answer to this question is option two. And equal breath sounds in one side of the chest. And that requires further evaluation from the healthcare provider. So if you want to learn more, join me in my 10-day challenge. That's the Quick Fix Bootcamp for NPLEX RN that's going to be held um, on November 13 to 24 with me and some mentors of the Gapo system. Sessions begin at 8 and it usually extends up to 6 p.m. And take note, it's a high yield type of program. It's going to be done at the Mount Crest Hotel. So join our hundreds and thousands of passers from more than 30 countries worldwide have benefited from the Ray Gapo system and you have the opportunity to use our learning tools published by world-renowned publishers, including our own learning management system, which is updated on a monthly basis. And to preserve our conducive learning environment, we keep our class size to a comfortable level and we have our own simulation room for the next generation NPLEX RN. So let me invite you to our next generation NPLEX RN Flex, the most flexible test prep class for the NPLEX, your choice of live face-to-face -face class, live virtual class, on-demand and limited video recorded lessons, QBank and three books, NGN strategies and sample questions by me, 
and the quick fix sessions. Our fee starts at 3,499, including all the three books. So once again, this is your mentor, your fact check buddy, Ray Gapus at your service saying a functional concept today helps your NPLEX RN, keeps your NPLEX RN fears away. See you in our next video. And for those who are taking the test anytime soon, good luck and God bless. Share this video to at least 10 of your friends and we're gonna ensure your success through our prayers. Take care.